Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you know from the title already, today I'm going to test out the famous YouTube hack mixing vitamin E capsules with the original Nivea cream. Now I came across multiple videos on this topic on YouTube and I'm not going to show them here because I don't want to get demonetized or copyrighted or whatever, but I can put the thumbnails right here so you can know what the videos I'm talking about. So um, yeah, these are the videos that I found online. The purpose of today's video is to first of all test out the whole hack and to explain if this would actually work or not to give you my opinion on this hack and before I start with that let me introduce myself really quickly in case you are new to this channel my name is Danny. hi nice to meet you and I am a pharmacist specialized in cosmetology and that's why I make these fun informative videos in which I analyze ingredients of makeup and cosmetic products and I, I, I apparently now test out the YouTube hacks as well <laughs> this is the first time but let me know if you enjoy these kind of videos I can maybe make more of them uh, in the future so yeah if you are interested in what I have to offer here on my channel then go ahead and subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on my future uploads thank you so much okay so when I watched these videos I noticed that they have similar claims regarding this mixture this hack so let me go through the claims and tell you what I think of the claims are they true or not the first claim is that this is anti-aging against wrinkles so there's one claim that it is going to slow down the aging and another claim is that it is going to reduce the, the appearance of the wrinkles so let's see is that true or not okay so vitamin E is a powerful antioxidant that means it's going to fight the free radicals that actually destroy the collagen and the major mechanism of aging is destruction of the collagen so if you can prevent the collagen from getting destroyed then you can definitely slow down the aging so I can say that that claims it slows down the aging yes applying topically vitamin E is going to slow down the aging so that is true uh, is it going to treat the aging signs that you already have the wrinkles well it can help but it's not going to reduce them completely there are other active ingredients that are going to do a better job of reducing the appearance of wrinkles but vitamin E I would say is a good way of preventing the wrinkles okay next claim is that it can fade dark spots now I have to disagree with that one because vitamin E does does not have such properties vitamin E is not an ingredient that is going to fade dark spots there are other ingredients that do that one of them is tamadol and there's hydroquinone there's kojic acid there are other ingredients that do that I do have a whole playlist on the antipigment uh, serum from Eucerin that is actually very effective for reducing dark spots so you can go ahead and watch that one I will put a playlist right here so you can watch that one but vitamin E is not going to reduce the dark spots this is a false claim moving on okay so it's hydrating the skin yes actually vitamin E does have hydrating and emollient properties so that is true moving on next one it's protecting your skin from free radicals yes absolutely vitamin E is a powerful antioxidant and it is indeed protecting your skin from free radicals that is also true and the last claim that I found is that actually this is not a claim but this is just something that uh, people did in these hack videos YouTube hacks videos they would make a formulation to sit around the house for another three days so they would make a larger amount of this formulation to use during the next three to five days now that I cannot agree with because uh, the common problem with vitamin E is that it is not stable and it is really difficult to make a formulation that is going to make it last longer uh, so because of that I cannot I can't agree with that. Don't make huge amounts of this. I, I wouldn't do that. If you're going to do this hack, like my advice right away would be to mix uh, the amount that you're going to use right away. Don't make it sit around the house for the next three days. I don't agree with that. Okay, so those would be the main claims that I found in these videos. And now let's see, what exactly did they mix in these videos? How did they mix this? Let's see. So the first thing that I noticed is that in all of these videos that I found, people were mixing a vitamin E that is meant for oral intake. So you're supposed to drink it with a glass of water. And they were using that vitamin E for mixing with Nivea. Now, vitamin E that you can find in these capsules for oral intake, the active component is the preferred 
acetate and tocopherol acetate is a more stable form of a vitamin E because as I said already vitamin E is not stable the pure vitamin E is not stable but the esterified version and that is tocopherol acetate is more stable and it has a longer shelf life but there is a catch even though it does have a longer shelf life it is poorly absorbed by the skin and you may not have the same effect as with the pure vitamin E with the pure form of vitamin E you are getting a more active vitamin E that is better absorbed by the skin and you even get the protection from the UVB rays there are some research that shows that vitamin E actually protects well from the UVB rays but of course don't get me wrong don't replace your sunscreen with vitamin E because vitamin E only protects you from the UVB rays not the UVA rays and you need both you know that if you don't Watch this video to get more information on that. Yeah, you do get a lot of benefits from the pure form of vitamin E, but the problem is that it's not stable. So that's the catch. And this tocopherol acetate is more stable, but it's poorly absorbed by the skin. The important thing for the conversion and the absorption of tocopherol acetate is the carrier of the active ingredient. And by the carrier, I mean the formulation around it. So that's why when getting a product with tocopherol acetate you need to get have a good formulation around it now are you going to get a great formulation by just mixing tocopherol acetate with the Nivea in your kitchen I personally doubt it so because of that instead of using this uh, vitamin E for oral intake I would advise you to get the vitamin E that is meant for topical application topical means applying on the skin so in today's video I'm going to use this vitamin E this is the monoderma vitamin E it has 5% of vitamin E in, in this little capsule in this product you do get a pure form of vitamin E 5% of it and this product has no perfume no color and no preservative that's why it's packed in this little capsule and the capsule is actually going to protect it from the environmental effects and it's going to preserve the stability of vitamin E so that's what I need to do today instead of mixing the vitamin E for oral intake I'm going to mix the pure vitamin E form with Nivea cream to see how it works and let's see what happens Okay, so you will need a blue original Nivea and you will need a vitamin E capsule. This one is pure vitamin E from Monoderma. I will put a link down below. And of course you will need a little bit of tissue paper just to avoid creating a mess. So I made a mistake and I first opened the vitamin E capsule, but maybe you can just first get a amount of Nivea that you want to mix it in. And then you can pour the vitamin E on top. And of course, make sure that your hands are clean before doing this and just mix it vigorously. And after a while you will get a texture looking something like this. So I decided to put this mixture only on one side of my face and on the other side of my face I will first apply the vitamin E and then Nivea on top just to see if uh, that will give me a different effect on the skin. And here is how my face looks right after applying this mixture. This is I applied it only on one side of my face and here I have nothing on my face. So you can see that I don't have a glow on this side of my face and the side to which I applied this mixture is very glowy as you can see so I am loving it so far. Okay moving on to to the other side of my face I will first apply this vitamin E only and then I will add Nivea on top of it just to see if this technique will change the effect on the skin and as you can see vitamin E on its own is not as glowy as the mixture so this is just vitamin E and this is the mixture yeah definitely the mixture is a lot more glowier and now I will apply the Nivea cream on top of it and this is the technique that I use for applying Nivea cream because as you know it's very thick and it's very hard to spread it on your face so that's why I warm it up in between my fingers first and then I tap it on my face and that way it, it's kind of easier to apply it and here is how the sides compare this is the mixture side very nice and very glowy and this is vitamin E and then Nivea on top of it again and very nice and very glowy the only difference here is that it was easier for me to spread out the mixture than it was to put Nivea on top of it but you can use it both ways I guess and of course I wanted to test out for you how this mixture performs as a makeup base so I did that as well I applied my foundation and my concealer on top of it and as you can see it's looking great I think this is a great makeup base for anyone who has dry skin but if you're oily maybe you will not love it that much but dry or normal especially during 
during winter this will be great so as you can see here both sides of my face are looking wonderful so I am loving this for underneath makeup okay now let me give you my final verdict on this hack okay so first of all I have to say this is a very fun idea and I must say it is a good idea it's not a bad idea the only thing is that I would change a couple of things here in this um, hack First of all, I would use the pure form of vitamin E because it is better absorbed by the skin and it's going to give you that full effect of vitamin E. With tocopherol acetate, you might not get the same benefits as with the pure form of vitamin E. So that would be my first advice. Get the pure form of vitamin E. As I said already today, use the monoderma capsules and I will put the picture right here. And if I find a link, I will put a link in the description box down below. That would be my number one advice. My second advice would be to mix small amounts and use it up right away don't put it in a jar and don't make it sit around the house for the next three to five days because that vitamin E is not going to be effective anymore after three days and it's probably not going to be safe either so in order to achieve the maximum effect of vitamin E and the maximum safety then I would advise you to mix a small amount right before the use and use it right away and I think you'll be good to go so yeah there you have it that would be it for today's video hopefully you enjoyed it if you did and if you would like me to make more videos of this kind let me know in the comments down below because I personally had a lot of fun making this video for you guys let me know if you enjoyed it as well so maybe I can consider making more of these videos in the future and yeah thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video bye